Queens, Queens back no with less. Michael Carbonaro. Back? I've never left. <laughs> okay. Last time we talked, we were at the New York Comic Con. We are at a donut shop, weren't we? No. That's what I want to do. I yeah, want to do donuts plan. and comics across the country. And how, how does that work? Well, this year, here we are in WinterCon in New yes. York, but we'll come back to that in Queens, New York. Yes. I'm doing this year, starting 2015, we, are, we, myself, and my company are going cross country buying comic books and collectibles. Out of the 52 weekends, I'll be on the road 40 of them. San Diego, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, God only knows somewhere in Canada, a Mexico convention. So you have like a four months? You have like a four months going? No, but we'll have that in 2016. Anyhow, donuts and comics. I want to uh, do How does that work? Donuts and comics. I want to so. bring, uh, pick up the coolest donut shop in East City, do a Friday night, bring your stuff, I'll tell you what it's worth, bring your artwork, I'll, I'll tell you what I think of it, and we'll let people know about it. We'll give you a couple of free admissions to the convention that weekend, and we're just gonna rock the comic book world. We'll get psyched on coffee and sugar and donuts and rock it, rock it out. So, so I think that'd be fun. So it's like um, the, the appraisal guy on, on TV. That yeah, only I'm show. live, and you Except, really get yeah, to you're, see you're, me. You're I'm more fun than those guys are anyhow, I trust me. He is a pimp, I cannot say this enough. I've known this man for quite some time, and every time I meet you is a new and a different experience. Thanks a lot. There's a painting of me upstairs. That's how old it is. So, how dory you. Oh, how did the Wintercon come to be, and what's Wow. Going? Yes, how did this come to be? That's a great question. Actually, after having run over 300 days of conventions in New York, Big Apple conventions, only Big Apple, I would never do anywhere else. Just didn't want to. Understood the city, knew the ins and outs, and was comfortable there. Finally, having been born in Queens, Jackson Heights, and grown up, I had a friend of mine named Pat Frank Pats, whom I'd known forever, the eternal collector. Actually, I just found out as a kid, he came to my comic store in Forest Hills. And he said, I want to do a show in Queens. I said, Frank, I've been thinking about it. Let's do it together. He said, cool. We became partners. We found this incredible space at the Resort World Casino. And here we are. About six months later, we decided to do it. We have a one-day show next year in 2015. It's all set for a two-day event. Everyone, as you can hear, is having a great time. Yes, we're having But we don't have donuts. No donuts. Next year, we will have our own little donut and coffee stand set up. That's how the booth will look, like the lemonade stand. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a donut and coffee stand. Right. That's what it's going to be when we talk. That'll uh, be our stuff. You in? Yes. Okay. What kind of donuts do you like? I go for the honey dip. Um, I like the Boston awesome cream pie. There you go. See? Everybody send in. Let us know what your favorite donuts are yes. in each city we come to. And we are going to get you a barrel of Big pickle barrel full of donuts. So, how do you, so knowing all these people all these years, do you find it easy to put a convention together? Or is it or is it harder because you know all these people? That's my joker laugh. My god. It would seem like it should be easier, right? Every yes, time. Yes. Actually, it's the same. It's always a rock. It's hard. It's like holding up the rock. Like Sisyphus, is that the one? And finally the rock falls and splinters up and you hold as long as you can. It's just, it really is an incredible thing. You're throwing a party for 10,000 people. Then there's the celebrities. Then there's your dealers. Then there's your friends. Then there's the press. And God damn it, the, you got keep, as much as you can push them away, they push back. So it's, it's just everything that happens. But yes, when it's all said and done, I love the experience. I enjoy it. Everyone enjoys it. If one person comes to me and says, Mike, I had a great time. It was wonderful. Well, that kind of makes my day. Well, Mike, I had a great time. <laughs> oh, my day is made. Thank so, you. My last question uh -oh. is, if it's so hard to do, why? I'm a glutton. Why? <laughs> not for pro I'm a glutton for profit. Why? I do make some money on this. Now I'm not. This is a completely <laughs> philanthropic. Is that the word? Philanthropic. Yes. Yes. Philanthropic, yes. Okay. Philanthropy. Uh, MD. Comic MD. But you know, yeah, we do make money. I also, you know, you get to be in the center of the comic world. People come to you with stuff. I find collections. I find people that say, Hey, Mike, you're running the show. I got a collection of comics to sell. Great. Let's go do some business. So it kind of all adds up. But I love having a partner, and that's why, so he, I can do half the work. It was like Big Apple was a big rock band, and maybe I was the lead singer, now I got a bigger rock band, but I'm only half the band, so it's great. And where can people find more about Mike Okay, nywintercon.com, nycbm.com, and mikecarbo.com is coming any day now.
But we'll tell you more about it. Pick out your favorite donuts, and we still gotta know what's up with the clap. Yes. Thank you very okay. much, sir. Great, Mark. Signing off. Came from the radio. Donuts and comics forever.